All right, welcome back. It's Wednesday, so let's cook and uh, let's scan that QR code that's up on your screen. And that'll take you to a link for today's recipes, making some avocado recipes that have nothing to do with guacamole, uh, getting ready for the big game. If you want a great guacamole recipe, uh, we did one not too long ago. It's posted up on the web, wgntv.com slash Dean Cooks. Well, let me start off with an avocado shrimp bowl. Uh, and this uh, starts off with uh, some cooked shrimp. You can use like cocktail shrimp. You can make it of your own, take the uh, tails off, clean them. And uh, so that goes in. An equal amount of chopped avocados, which are pretty inexpensive right now, by the way. The price has finally gone down on those. That gets mixed in with some nice, fresh pico de gallo. All stores sell them. Mix all this up a little bit. Now in the store, they sell tomato juice, but they sell clamato juice as well. And this is about a half a cup of clamato juice to give it a little tomatoey taste, but also a little touch of spice. Into the spices goes some cumin, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of hot sauce, not too much, but just enough to give it a little bit of a bite. And uh, finally, some squeezes of lime, about two tablespoons of lime, which equals about two fresh limes if you squeeze them all up. So I'm just gonna do a couple of these here to save a little bit of time. And then this is it. This is all that goes into this. And this is uh, fantastic. You can put it on rice if you want to. You can put it on some nice cold noodles. You can serve it with uh, Tostito chips. If you let this sit overnight, all the flavors incorporate even more. And then this is what it looks like when it's all done. I'm gonna take the cellophane off, but you get the idea. I'm gonna leave the cellophane on for now. All right, our next recipe is a tomato and uh, hummus guacamole, like mini sandwich. Uh, on one side of the toasted bread, this is toasted sourdough bread, a light coating of avocado, another coating of hummus on the other side. Fresh love coating of hummus. In the middle of all of that, we'll go a couple of fresh sliced tomatoes and also some scallions. And just a little bit of parsley to go in there as well. That's all there is to this, really. It flips over. Let me do this properly here. Flips over on top. Gets cut in half. And this is a great finger food right here. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. You can put a nice little plate of these super healthy and delicious sandwiches out. Now, the next recipe is one that's got me worried a little bit. Because this one is done with a rice paper, which you have to soak, but if you soak it too long, it gets all icky and gooey like this and then cannot be used. I'm gonna lay this out here just to kind of give you an idea though. So onto this is a mixture of avocado, mashed avocado, uh, some cream cheese, green onions, red pepper. Here's the magic ingredient right here, a sliver of mango and a little bit of cilantro. And I think if I had soaked this rice paper properly, now it's just like a big thing of icky glue and it's not gonna wrap very well. But you take it and you wrap it just like an egg roll. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it really is kind of disgusting. But if you do it properly, mmm, look how delicious yeah. this looks. <laughs> it already looks like somebody ate it. Yeah. Isn't that nice? But <laughs> I would recommend using a nice uh, tortilla instead, a nice uh, tortilla. It's a lot easier to manipulate, and all the ingredients will still work with it. All right, you can get today's recipes by scanning the QR code that's on your screen with your smartphone. You can also go to wgntv.com slash deancooks. 
and we automatically send you the recipes if you text the word cooks to 97999. I'll be back to cook more stuff that looks disgusting to eat uh, next week. Stick around.